Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BVG, and we have basically a guide to installing this for Road to Reincarnation, the English mod. First things first, this is by no means a professional guide. I am at best an amateur, and even that is being generous. So I'm just going to do my best in uh, explaining how to put this on. So we're just going to start from the beginning, from the actual README instructions, because it is a little confusing, you know, when it's just in, in a block and you try and follow it from start to finish and... That actually doesn't doesn't work. So I the first time I did this, I tried to actually follow this, get rid of the metadata and all that, and I didn't need to do that. I none of that matters for people who are just putting this mod on for the first time. All of this, it doesn't matter. You don't even need to do anything. It doesn't matter. That is probably the one thing that trips most people up because it is a little like confusing. But what we do need to do, and for those that don't have a Windows key, just type into your search bar "run" and you'll get the command pop up. Now it's a little app here, we literally just have to type in intl.cpl and it's going to open our little region thing for the computer itself. So first things first, we have to go into additional settings and just change the decimal symbol from a comma to a full stop. I think most predominantly English regions is automatically set to a decimal rather than a comma, but if it is a comma, just turn it back. That's the only one you need to change, nothing else matters. Apply it, okay, done. Next bit administrative this seems a little bit dodgy to do because it feels like you're really uh screwing with your computer you know but we have to click change system locale change it to the us it's just easier that way i could probably have used just australia and it still would have worked but i just changed it to us regardless but the one we really need to click is beta use unicode udf 8 for worldwide language support the game basically won't run without this activated because it's a Chinese game. That's just the way it is. I don't make the rules, man. I don't make the rules. I just try and make it work with what I have, you know. And after you click OK with that, you're going to have to restart your computer. Let that happen. Now, after the restart, we can actually get into applying the mod itself. So you're going to have to extract what you've downloaded, which is going to be the 2.0 version. I'm going to get to the patches at the end of this just simply because that came out a couple of days ago and I figured I'll just add it in this anyway. Even though it's pretty damn simple, but I mean, if, if it breaks while I'm recording, when it's a very simple process, I guess that says all you need to know about how good I am at this. After you've extracted everything to like whatever file you want, you need to take this entire thing and you need to chuck it into your Steam game. So you can find this much more easily than me doing it through Steam, Steam apps in common, just by right clicking on the game, clicking properties, and then finding local files through there, just clicking browse. It's probably easier than needing to find the Chinese name. But we go into it, literally just copy all of what you've extracted straight in here. That is literally the mod done. That's it. I know. I know. And now comes the moment of truth where you're actually going to need to launch the game. Easiest way to see that it's working is that after you've launched it, you'll see at the very bottom of the screen, it's going to say Ing Mod Enabled. I'll show you in a second. See at the bottom here, Ing Mod Enabled. That means it's working, we're good, you're ready to go, pretty much. But I will say one of the things that you need to be aware of is that it will crash. The first time you open it and run it, it's going to crash and it might even crash the second time. And the time that it does work is going to take a while to start up and take a very long time for the first time you load into the game because this mod does take a pretty big toll. In terms of performance anyway, once you're in the game it's not so bad but just that first run is very slow. Like it was three minutes for me, something like that of loading time when I very first started the game. So be aware of that. It's not broken. It's just really slow. Now if it literally crashes like i would say four times in a row that's when go back to the ama discord and maybe ask questions then or go back through this and try and do it again i'm going to be getting to what happens if you already have a mod and you're trying to either you know go up a level in mod from 1.2 to 2.0 or something we'll get to that and also i'd like to say that every time you save the game and come back to the menu you, you should export your save you should absolutely export your save to an external place just so you have that backup there because facts are i'm pretty sure we're going to we'll be we're going to be looking at losing data and save games as this game gets updated and the english mod gets reapplied it's just going to lead to save corruptions it is what it is 
we suffer for good games. Now that everything's worked for you, congrats, you're in, have fun with the game. But if you've already installed the mod and it's not worked and you've tried again and again and again and now you're just stuck with all the mod files in there and everything's just fucked, this is probably the part of uh, this little tutorial for you and it's this is the part which is actually going to include steps 1 and 1.1 because these steps involve current mod files. Just like if you already have mod files in the game data, this is how basically you do a clean install of all of the mod files. So the easiest way to do this is you get both of these back up, get your game data back up and get Road to Reincarnation back up and you are going to need to hunt down all the files you put in there. Basically, you need to get all of these out of here. You need to delete them. So just, you could do it one by one, just delete, delete. Just get rid of all of these files that exist in the game data. Once you've done that, and I mean, you can go to the actual guide itself. It does tell you which ones are included in that and you you will need to read over that just to get that done. But this is this is the part where I think people got the most confused and they started, they tried to do this bit first. Now after you've removed all those files in your actual Steam area for the game itself, you need to go into the game data and we need to open up IL2CPP underscore data, go into metadata and delete this. This needs to be deleted basically because to my knowledge, the way the translations actually work is by using this metadata file. So if it's not worked and you haven't deleted this file and you're trying to com completely put the mod back in, you're it's literally doing nothing. So you have to actually completely get rid of this metadata file, delete it, close, then verify integrity of game files. So it will re-download the default version of it. So you have a default metadata again. And then you can just literally go back to the start of this guide. This time you can ignore all this because you've probably already done it. And you can just directly put the mod straight back in and then run the game like that. Now moving into the last bit, the patches here. You can find the patches pretty easily by just going into where you got the actual mod itself from or click on the mod patch then and then just click releases and it's going to give you 2.10 and 2.1.10 now both of these you you should put in both of these and i'll be honest with you i'm going to do them one at a time because it seems just the safest way to do it is to install 2.1 and then 2.11 i don't want to fuck with that and so we're going to see if that just works with the way that I've installed the mod and the way the mod works for me. If this works, then what I've done works. I don't even know if I've made sense this far. So, and yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see. So, first one, 2.1.0. Open her up. I'm just going to use Extract to get it to desktop. Rotary reincarnation. Going to open up that bitch. Now, all that should be there for this mod patch 2.1.0 is literally just the uh, Bearpin X. And all we're going to do, all we're going to do, click and drag her in, replace these files. Okay, and that's literally 2.1.0 done, apparently. I'm going to do the second one as well. Simply because this is only a hotfix based on the 2.1.0 anyway, and both are just translation additions. So, I mean, I'll take it, you know. Export to Road Reincarnation. I just used WinRAR for it. It was free, but it's only for like an X amount of time, but I only needed it for, you know, a day. So, yeah, fuck it. Then get my hotfix 2 up. 2.1.1. Go to my data folder. Bepin X. Transfer. Replace. Done. Let's hope that's what the readme said. Yeah. Just literally just drag and drop. She'll be right. And now is the part where we test it, which is the scariest part because everything I've said could have just, you know, completely screwed up my game. But that's the fun of it. Looks like English mod enabled works. Will it crash? Looks like we're good. So those two patches were really just additional translations and slightly better spacing on stuff, better naming, etc. I'm really impressed with the modding community. I really am. Looks like we're working and we are ready to go. Excellent. It didn't fuck up. <laughs> low key, low key happy. Now, just before I go, there is a free DLC here, and it's basically for a female clothing. 
but I do not dare to download it in case it fucks with the translation mod, so I'm, I'm leaving it, plus I have a male character anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But, just, you know, it's there, it exists. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this one here. Hopefully this made sense. Honestly, leave me a comment if it didn't. I'll try and expand, I guess. I'm also going to link the AMA Discord again, because they're absolutely brilliant with answering questions on why shit isn't working. Because, well, they made it. They know what they're doing. But yes, hopefully this helps. Don't forget to subscribe. Going to 10,000. As always, have a great day.